Okay, so what we're going over today is purchasing, buying your kid, nephew, student, his first set of gloves. Hey guys, so summertime is upon us. And what's that mean? Everybody's training more. So not only do I have a huge amount of guys coming to me right now, flying in, getting ready, driving up, uh, starting to train for fights, like I'm blowing at the seams training these guys for fights, is that I got my little guys. Now I will always make room for my little guys. And what I mean is that is like my third, I think my youngest right now is third grade. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I mean by my little guys. So, and what we're gonna break down with this in today's video, our gloves now all these little guys uh have been growing so fast that they're going through the wrestling shoes real quick and their hand size is obviously getting bigger as much as their feet so every probably a little bit sooner than uh what i'd like but they're getting new gloves now it's always fun to go trying on gloves because when we go to the fight shop they get to try on every single glove there is okay and it usually comes down to one how they look these guys want the cool looking gloves so we're going to take you down there today and show you how to or the process maybe a little bit about what we're going on with buying new gloves like i said it's a lot of hand size looks all the stuff but let you if you if you have your student if you have your son you have your nephew and you're getting them gloves just let them try all of them on let them have fun with it okay because once we get back here in the gym it's on a crack and and uh and then too if you get them gloves a little bit early it's cool because you can give them to somebody um like the next size down you know maybe a kid comes in with his parents they don't have all the money as everybody else so just donate donate your old pairs of gloves which is really cool so we're gonna break that down right now and uh, show some maybe sparring or hitting speed bag I don't know what with these kids but they're crazy but uh summertime's here and it's fight time so you got questions comments or stories definitely stories put it in the comments below subscribe hit the like button all that kind of crazy stuff but for right now if you didn't know now you know okay so what we're going over today is purchasing buying your kid nephew student his first set of gloves now which gloves let me see let me see what gloves you picked so here's the thing you have to pick out every single glove in the store so you can able so you can try them on okay which one is this is this the one you picked okay why did you pick that glove you don't know why did it feel good on your hand okay it felt good on his hand okay now this glove has two wrist supports right did you like the tight wrist yeah okay what did you what was the other glove Go grab another one for me, please, that you didn't like. So we tried every single pair on you could. Eight ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce, the whites, the blacks, the greens. So it's very important because you gotta like the way it looks because if it doesn't look cool, it's not gonna work. Okay, let me see what else. So, oh, these were a little bit big. Okay, so these, we tried on some 12s. These are a little bit big for his hands. The ones we picked are Tens, those are pretty much good to go. So like I said, if and when you come to buy gloves, try, most of the time you're gonna get Velcro. You always wanna get Velcro, because lace-ups is gonna be very difficult for a kid. So Velcro, and again, it's gotta look cool, because if it doesn't look cool, he's not gonna be digging it. So that's the whole thing. But we tried on, like, where's the other ones you got? Who you tried on? So we're gonna check this out. So here we go. So, we tried the rivals on too. That why did what was up with that glove? It was fine. It was cool, but that one just. What did, did you like that one more or less or what? I like this one less. Maybe. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that white one was the ticket, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Even though those are the same size, you know that. So again, same size, same ounce glove. Just because it's the same ounce glove doesn't mean it's going to fit the same on your kid's hand. So it's very imperative that you try, please trust me on this one, try them all out, let them punch the bag so we beat the bag up a little bit and uh, it'll make a difference. So he likes it, it looks cool, the color's cool, it fits his hand and then you're good to go. So and all these gloves are gonna last your kid unless his hand really grows out of it, but you, you'll get like a good year out of these things. So you'll be good to go. If you have questions, if you have another story about buying your kid a glove, or say for example, you don't have a, a fight shop to go to to try these things on, and you wanna hit me up, I can kinda lead you in the right direction of what you, what like, cause everybody's kinda got a budget what you wanna spend. Say if you wanna spend up to 50 bucks, or up to 100 bucks, or up to 200 bucks, or up to $500, I can you know point you in the right direction on what glove 
you want to get for your child, your nephew, your student, all that kind of good stuff. So we're breaking that down. So for right now, if you didn't know, now you know. So which video do you want to watch? You want to watch that video? You want to watch that video? You know, that one's really good. But on the other hand, that one helps the video that you just saw.